So we went game hunting again, me and my wife, and uh, we actually found a couple of great games. Uh, I've been collecting for the Wii U and the PlayStation. Pretty much I collect for every system ever made. Um, I saw some dude on the internet play this game, so I thought I'd pick it up. It was real cheap. It's a computer game. I don't play many computer games. But this is Jurassic Park Trespasser, supposedly one of the shittiest games ever made. And as soon as I can find something that will play this piece of shit, I'm definitely going to play it. One of the gems I was able to pick up was actually for the PlayStation 2, a game I've been trying to get my hands on for a long time. This is Final Fight Streetwise. This was the last Final Fight of the series. It's actually a really good game. I really like it. Uh, this one's a blast. Now these are all Wii U games. I've been collecting for that as well. This is the time to collect for the Wii U. I think the Wii U was a really underrated system. I love it. I know it got a lot of bad criticism, but I really have nothing negative to say about the Wii U. I think it's a great system. So anyway, let's get to the games. So these are the games I was able to get my hands on. The first one is Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. This was Donkey Kong's uh, transition to the Wii U. Uh, I can't wait to play this one. This is a great game. A couple of them I got off the internet. So this is, uh, as I said, a couple I had to get off the internet. My wife likes this one. Um, they released this for the PlayStation 3 as well. Uh, this is a Wii U edition of this game and it's special on the Wii U because it has a ton of great features on the Wii U and it's a little bit different. But this is uh, Tekken Tag Tournament 2 on the Wii U. This is a great game on the PlayStation 3, but it's really good on the Wii U. It really is because you can actually customize your characters to look like Nintendo characters and a lot of unlockables. Really great game. This is a game I don't know much about, but I can't wait to try. Uh, Monster Hunter 3, I know it's a great franchise, and I'm looking at the back cover there. It looks like a lot of great things in this game. I guess you just fight big monsters in this game, but I can't wait to play this. This was a game I was really excited for because I fell in love with this game on the PlayStation 2, and I fell in love with this game on the GameCube. But the Wii U has its own edition of this game. And that would be, let me take out my address here. Need for Speed Most Wanted U. It's actually a totally different game. It's different than the Most Wanted you've played probably, but great game. Here's a game I had to wait for to go down in price because I was not spending 60 to 70 bucks on this game, but I finally got a really good deal. I think I. Actually, I ended up buying this game for like eight, eight bucks, about seven, eight bucks. But that would be Pokemon Tournament, not Pokemon Tournament. It's called Pokemon Tournament. Uh, this is probably Wii U Spin. I played it before. I would closely say it's like Pokemon um, Stadium for the Nintendo 64. This would be like the new Pokemon Stadium, in my opinion. Great game. Another franchise I had just gotten into but don't know much about. This is Xenoblade Chronicles X. Another game I waited to go down in price before I got. But this is the time to hit the Wii U games. Um, a lot of people say that this game didn't live up to the hype. But I've seen game footage for this game and it looks beautiful. The only downside is it's not two players but it looks like a gorgeous game. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. This was actually based off a mini game in Super Mario 3D World, and they made an entire game out of it. Um, I think it's great. It really utilizes the Wii U pad. You have to kind of turn it and stuff, and it can get kind of like sickening and woozy, but it says pluck, throw, swing, and ride. So you're doing all this in a square, so you got to like tilt the I think it's a great game. I had a lot of fun playing it on the Super Mario uh, 3D World, so I can't wait to try this edition of it. Here's a game that I actually found a really good price on. Uh, it was up at the dollar store, believe it or not, for like uh, 10 bucks, but I actually found it in a $5 bin, so I have to try it. 
This is Mighty Number no. 9. Let me just sum up this game for you. Mighty Number no. 9 is just basically a Mega Man ripoff. But I think it looks cool. I've seen game footage. It plays really nicely. I played a little bit of it. But um, that's all it is. It's just a Mega Man ripoff. If you like Mega Man or Mega Man ripoffs, you get Mighty Number no. 9. And it's not the ninth game in the franchise. It's just called Mighty Number no. 9. This is a game I waited a long time to get. Um, I have to admit, I waited until we played with the characters on the Switch version of Smash Brothers. But my wife really wanted this game, and I wasn't disappointed. This is Splatoon. I'm not really sure all the game modes or what you're supposed to do in this game. All I know is you're supposed to just cover each other in paint and get, you know, stuff like that. But I played a little bit of this game. The game modes are fun. The soundtrack is, believe it or not, awesome. And I think it's a really fun game. Me and my wife have a lot of fun playing this game together. This is a good time. This was actually a game that I originally had played on the PlayStation 3. And for some reason, this version actually looks a lot better and is way more fun. And I don't know why. But this is Resident Evil Revelations. Basically, it's just another Resident Evil game. The only downside is you can't play two players unless it's like co-op online, I think. Which really sucks because this would have made a great two-player game. Um, the PlayStation 3 version, the graphics were kind of cartoony. But this one actually has like really nice graphics. And I love the way they use the gamepad. Basically, if you were going to buy this game, what I am saying is... I would skip on the 3DS version. I would skip on the PlayStation version. The Wii U version is actually the best. So, yeah, it's a pretty good game. I got it for a good deal. So, this is a good one. And the last game on this video, at least for now, is Yoshi's Woolly World. A game that I've been trying to get my hands on. At least a good price on. They're not hard to find. I've just been waiting for them to go down in price. Because I'm not paying 60 bucks for each one of these. But I found a good price on this game. Um, I mean, this game is a blast. We had a lot of fun playing this. Um, it actually, it's funny, it says 20 bucks on the side, but that's not what I paid for it. But this game is actually really sweet. I liked it a lot. Um, yeah, not many complaints. It basically plays like, it is two player. It basically plays like a uh, platform jumping Mario. Uh, my wife and me play this game and you can solve puzzles and you can eat yarn balls and throw them at your enemies and things like that but it's basically like mario except you're yoshi and you're in like a world of just looks like a craft room or sewing or in yarn balls and stuff but it's really cool so me and my best buddy steve we actually went game hunting and uh we actually picked up a really nice collection um, including the games I picked up earlier. This is Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed. It's basically just Need for Speed's game with Porsches. It's just a really nice Need for Speed. I like it. How does that look? It looks decent. Looks good? Yeah. Here comes a good one. I can't believe I found a copy of this. It's not that rare, but Rayman. Everybody knows Rayman. I mean, don't those graphics look really nice for PS1? Yeah, for the time and era, they look great. I think that looks amazing. That looks, those graphics look so fun. I don't know if you can see them, but like, this game is great. Next game we picked up is Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. And I know nothing about this game. I don't, it just looked cool. I can't know every game, so. Yeah, I don't even think I've ever heard of I've, I've never heard, heard of, yeah, I, I think. I don't even think I've ever heard of Crystal Dynamic. Legacy of Kane, that's like the Soul Reaver series. So maybe it is like a spin of Soul Reaver, but I don't know. Yeah. Up next, I picked this game up because for some reason the cover reminded me of, uh, what's that racer's name? Richard Petty, which is 43. Yeah, it looked like Richard Petty's car, except it's 42. I don't know, this game looked awesome. This is demolition racer i don't it just looks like a destruction derby game how it's does that a, look it's a really good game i've played it before. you played this game before yeah. how does it play 
Uh, like any other Demolition Racing game. The spiritual successor to Destruction Derby 2. So this is pretty much Destruction Derby 3. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I can't wait to play this one. I picked this one up. It was a Greatest Hits. This is Die Hard. I don't know much about this game, but I know it's a pretty, like, hidden gem on the PlayStation. I guess you can walk through and shoot uh, third person. You can do a first person shooter. And I heard you can also drive in this game. What's your opinion on this? Oh, it's actually a double disc. Die Hard and Die Hard 2 Die Harder. And then there's Die Hard with Vengeance. Oh, there, so it's a three disc. So this, it's Oh, this is a Die Hard trilogy. Yeah, it's a compilation. Oh, okay. So this is actually a good value. Because I only paid 10 bucks for this and it's three games. So this is a good value. What are you, how does that look to you? Looks good. Hopefully it plays and is nice and uh, goes off the movies or something. Yeah, I think I've, I've heard of this. I heard the first game, you're in the hotel. Mm -hmm. I heard the second game, you're... Uh, I think that was, well, that was the one where you had to defeat the guy at the uh, airport. No. Or no, yeah. Yeah, the airport. And then the third one, you're in the city trying to defuse the bombs with Samuel L. Jackson. Yep. I've heard of this game. Okay, but I can't wait to play this game. Another game I'm not going to pretend to know anything about. This is Judge Dredd. This is basically a comic book series turned into, I guess... Does that look like a first-person shooter? Yes, it does look like a first-person shooter. I guess it's a first-person shooter, but basically Judge Dredd is like a comic book. Uh, Ar uh, I almost said Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, Sylvester Stallone actually played Judge Dredd, but... He's just a comic book hero, but it was cheap. I picked it up. My buddy Steve had a great idea. He said that video stores, uh, when they're pretty much liquidating their inventory, they put games out at really good prices. And he found me some gems here. I don't know much about this one, but I've been wanting it a long time. Uh, this is Sonic Boom Rise of... Lyric? Yeah, Lyric. It's basically a Sonic Boom game. Uh, Sonic Boom's a TV show, but this is a Sonic game on the Wii U. Uh, yeah, no. it's well. just, yeah, of the Sonic Boom show. Uh, I've been wanting a good Wii U Sonic game. The other game he found for me is a game that I couldn't thank him enough. He found me Sonic Lost Worlds in the bargain bin. Uh, this is actually... A game I've been after, Sonic Lost Worlds. That's probably, as far as I know, that's the most popular Sonic Wii U game. But I'm glad we picked this one up. And the other games he pointed out to me, he found in the bargain bin for five bucks. In the case and everything, he found me Fear. Uh, two, sorry, Fear 2. For five bucks. Yes, yeah, the two-player version. This is the two-player version because me and him will try to get two-player games, but this is Fear for five bucks, and I think that we even got it cheaper than that. Yeah, because it was. Uh, it was like half off. Two day. for eight or something. Yeah. Like that. And the last game we found in the bargain bin, and how much did you say this game went online? It, it varies for uh, console and stuff like that, and I know it's went up because uh, Rage Two recently released. Yep. Rage. He got this for me for four bucks, four or five bucks. I can't believe we found this one. But that was our game haul. These were some of the best games I've picked up in our game haul. Um, really cheap. And definitely go to your local video store and see what games they're trying to liquidate. Thanks a lot. So I didn't want to get into all the PlayStation models, but obviously you know the fat gray one. But PlayStation, they were the original company to do the Slim. And when they did the Slim, they originally came out with a smaller PlayStation 1, and I loved it. This was the original PlayStation 1 Slim. I had a lot of fun with this. This thing was awesome. I mean, when this first came out, I was so used to having the big, bulky PlayStation and trying to find room for it. But this thing, it, could, it, it pretty much slid into anywhere. I mean, it was such a great invention. I love this thing. It made an awesome CD player. Um, it was really beautiful. I liked it a lot. Um, unfortunately, I don't really remember what happened to my fat PlayStation 1. I think I gave it away once my mom bought me this. But uh, this, I just wanted to cover this uh, system a little bit. 
it was just a great PlayStation system. It didn't have any HDMI output or anything like that because that wasn't around yet. Same AV cords, uh, same power adapter, but it was just awesome that PlayStation was, in my opinion, I think the original inventors of the slim models of their systems. And I think this was an awesome thing. Unfortunately, my disc reader for this doesn't work anymore. I pretty much have had this PlayStation since 1999. Um, I love it. I actually got another fat one to replace this. I might even get another slim, but unfortunately the disc reader on this one doesn't work. So it was a good old friend, but we're going to smash him. So to commemorate PlayStation's 25th anniversary, Here's my old PlayStation. This is probably the second PlayStation I got. I don't know if I mentioned that in the other video. But uh, it was a good little PlayStation. My mom, this is the one she would take away from me when I was uh, being bad and everything. And uh, yeah, nice little system, PlayStation. They were the first ones to do a slim model. And it's been exactly 25 years, December. Well, December coming up, but it'll be exactly 25 years PlayStation's anniversary. So uh, let's do them the honors and uh, smash this thing and see what's inside. I love you, buddy. Give it a kiss. Say bye-bye, Mr. PlayStation. <laughs>